And developing this morning, authorities are on a manhunt for an escaped murderer in Pennsylvania. This is just outside of Philadelphia. Take a look at this surveillance video released by the Chester County District Attorney. They say these are images of Danilo Cavacante. He was convicted of first degree murder in August and has been on the run since Thursday. He was spotted about a mile from the prison, police calling him extremely dangerous, telling people in the area to lock their doors. Dre Clark is following the latest this morning for us. And Dre, you and I have talked about this before. We're often used to police saying, hey, there's a guy on the run, just stay away from him. But this time they're really raising the threat level. Yeah, investigators feel like this is someone who is extremely dangerous and they're telling people don't take any chances, don't take anything for granted. Keep your doors and windows locked and your cell phone close by in the event you should see him or hear something near your home out of the ordinary. Uh, because, again, they say this man they're looking for is depraved and extremely dangerous. And certainly for people who live near that Pennsylvania prison where he escaped, the last four days and nights have been full of anxiety and fear because police say uh, this escaped convict is desperate to remain free. And he also has a very violent past that includes murder. This is the most recent image of escaped prisoner Danilo Cavalcante. The grainy video captured on a home surveillance camera early Saturday morning, not long after someone else reported an attempted burglary in the same area. The video confirms widespread belief among law enforcement that Cavalcante is still in the area, mere miles away from the Chester County, Pennsylvania prison where he escaped last Thursday. Police have responded to well over 100 tips from varying neighbors in the area, including allegations of possible break-ins to residential homes in the vicinity within a one to two mile radius of the prison. Investigators won't say how Cavalcante escaped. He was convicted August 16th of murder after a jury returned a guilty verdict in only 15 minutes. Cavalcante stabbed his ex-girlfriend 38 times in front of her children. Investigators say he murdered the woman after she became aware he was wanted for murder in his native Brazil. He's got a life arc of being very comfortable with violence because he grew up in Brazil in a gang. He's comfortable with crime and obviously he's comfortable with murder. The search area is heavily wooded, surrounded by homes. Officers carrying rifles locked and loaded, search dogs on the hunt, while choppers and drones look from the air. People in the area urgently warn to be careful. Remain inside, lock your doors, lock your cars. He is still considered an extremely dangerous individual. And the district attorney whom you just heard from says she does not believe that Cavalcante had any type of help coming from inside to prison uh, to help him make that, that escape. But they also, again, aren't going into any details about how exactly he went free. Also in that surveillance video released over the weekend, uh, Cavalcante was carrying a backpack. Investigators say they don't know where he got that backpack from and nor do they know what's inside of it. One other detail they're mentioning about him is that he's a short guy, only about five feet tall, but nonetheless, he's short, but extremely dangerous. Mark. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.